JavaScript offers dynamic control over every aspect of a web page, and that includes being able to add and remove objects on the fly. Based on a user's input or a page event, you can remove information from a container, and that's an important tool in your web design toolkit. So in this video, I'll explain how to remove an image file from a div container using JavaScript. This web page has two links, now you see me, now you don't. And every time I click on now you see me, it's going to add a new image file. Now, I've actually created a div here called image add, and I've given it a width of 300 pixels, but I've made it elastic. That means I haven't given it a height, and therefore every time the image is placed in there, that div is going to keep growing, uh, and I've given it that light blue background color. Now, what happens if I want to take it away. Well, the thing is, every time I click that first link, it's going to add, but I want to actually be able to remove that. Here in the head section, I'm just going to create a line, an empty line, and start a new script. And I'm going to give it a type. Make sure you give it a type of text slash JavaScript. And what we want to do here is use this uh, link. Now you don't. You can see down here we've actually used the href and then JavaScript uh, command to call the function hide image. We haven't created it yet. The first link calls show image. We can see that right here. What we want to do now is create that hide image function. So here I'm going to type in function and we'll call this hide image to match our link. Put our curly braces in. Now in the hide image function I'm going to create a variable and call this remove. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, reference that div which has an ID of image add. So we need to uh, create this document referencing the actual document itself, get element by ID, and then the name of that div container, in this case it's called image add, and a semicolon. Now that we've created that uh, that variable, what we want to do is use something different. Here we've used a pen child to add the image every time we click. What we'd like to do here is use remove instead of a pen child. So I'm going to use this remove dot remove child. Okay, because what we're doing here, we're appending or adding the child, adding that new image every time. Now we're going to remove it every time we click that link. So it's in parentheses, remove child nodes. And then we want to actually reference the node that we want to remove. Because remember, we're adding a new node every time we click a button. What I want to do is just use the first one. So the first one always starts with zero. And we'll just remove that first one. So one at a time. Put a semicolon in. So what I need to do, I forgot a period there because you need remove dot child nodes. And that's very important. Otherwise, it won't work. I'll go ahead and save that now. Now, refresh that. And every time I click, you'll see a new one being added. And every time I click now you don't, you'll see it being removed. And I can do as many as I want. So now you see me. And then now you don't. And every time it'll take one away. Remember what it's doing is it's removing the first node every time you click. If I refresh now, there's nothing there. And I click now you don't. Nothing's going to happen, obviously, because there's nothing there. But every time I click one uh, on now you see me and click once on now you don't, it's going to add and remove respectively.